Look out, y'all. It's your boy Ashy Knuckles, man. What's the haps with it? Doing a video, man. This video right here is, um, this kind of brought me back to the YouTube boxing community because, you know, I really haven't had time to do this shit. I work on the road. I fly out to different parts of the country to do work in the oil fields, um, chemicals or nuclear um, plants, you know, doing a lot of inspection and stuff like that, make crazy paper, that's why I haven't been de dedicating to the sport as far as bringing coverage, going to gyms and shit like that, I really haven't had time for it, the love is still there, but I ain't got time for it, you know, I got a family, you know, you got to do what you got to do, so your family is always in a good standing, so boxing had to take a, had to take a back seat to that paper, I think any man who's on their note and have some type of integrity about themselves would, you know, would have done the same thing or would do the same thing. But I've been, you know, listening to videos whenever I can and I've been listening to Blood do his thing, going in on Floyd Mayweather and um, I've been listening to guys that support Mayweather and, you know, Mayweather's always been one of those type of topics. You're always going to get a variety of opinions you know, when people back it up with facts and stuff like that, that's what makes it interesting. That's when you build back and forth dialogue and, you know, it actually makes the conversation interesting uh, enough for others to chime in whether they agree or don't agree. But, um, you know, I got respect for all those guys, especially the guys that used to do this back in the game. Uh, guys that did it before me, even when I came in, it got real, real hot. Everybody was doing responses. The shit was live. You know what I'm saying? But I, I gotta, I had to do a video in, um, in response to a video I saw from 78 Fight Fight News, Fight TV, Fight Sports. One of them motherfuckers, one of them names. Same dude, live shit, you know, some live content. Same dude. Uh, and he absolutely goddamn me right, dog. He absolutely right, man. I've been a, a, a supporter of Floyd Mayweather for a long time. I've been watching this dude box since Robert Apodoco, since Justin Juco, you know what I'm saying? Since uh, Hanero Hernandez, Chicanito, live-ass Mexican fighter, two-division world champ, dude fought a lot of good fighters, shut down a lot of good fighters, very smart, very intelligent. Don't get a lot of credit in today's game, but he was live back then, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, since those days, I've been a supporter of Mayweather, you know what I'm saying? Whether it was, you know, I have criticized him in the past, but I have supported him nonetheless when he has been in the right. I don't think he was media hyped. If you've been around a long time, you know that he may have initially began as a media hype fighter. With due respect, he should have been coming out of the amateurs with that type of pedigree. And the things that he accomplished, he should have had some weight behind him as far as the media push. And he was with top rank. That kind of comes goes with the territory. But, it, you know, for the last 12, 13 years, he has not been media hyped. If anything, he's been media scorned and ridiculed. No matter what he did, who he fought, what he said, he wasn't hyped. There hasn't been a media muscle behind him. Hasn't been a big promotional push that with media support behind him everything that he's accomplished he's done by marketing his own brand you know what I'm saying and fighting so I, I'm not talking about it from that aspect you know I won't take away from his legacy I won't take away from the fact that when he retired the first time he had enough uh, of a resume to go into the Hall of Fame by being one of the best 30 pounders to ever come through the game you know what I'm saying? And ever since he came back after retirement, he's been fighting live dudes. I'm not going to take that away from him. And of course, you cannot possibly take away from his skills. And uh, the fight he's coming off of against Canelo was a live fight. Evidenced by the amount of people that supported it and paid money for it. But now I'm hearing rumblings that the guy may fight Amir Khan next. And I'm like, you've got to be motherfucking me, shitting me, dude. 
the best fighter in the world versus Amir Khan and you mean to tell me you think you're going to charge me for that shit? You really think you're going to put a $69.99 pay-per-view event to showcase your ass Mayweather fighting Amir Khan? And I'm thinking to myself, this got to be some goddamn type of hoax. You got to be kidding me, dude. Amir Khan. This dude has three losses, which none of them he has avenged. Prescott knocked him out. Lamont Peterson beat his ass. And Danny Garcia stopped him. He has not avenged any of these losses, dude. He is coming off a two-fight win streak over Carlos Molina, who was an undefeated prospect. That was a confidence builder. You did well. But then you fight Julio Diaz and struggle. You barely won that fight. He barely won that fight. And Julio Diaz was a he was a badass lightweight. That that's when he had his, his time. That that was his heyday at 135 pounds. After Floyd was long gone. Julio Diaz established himself as a very good lightweight. Okay? That's when he was a legit threat. He did not fight Amir Khan at 135 pounds. They just they fought at 40. And Amir Khan barely escaped out of that fight. And I'm like, you mean to tell me he, by him beating Julio Diaz, a guy that Killer Holt knocked out in three rounds on Friday night fights, you know, not too long ago, uh, because you beat Julio Diaz barely, you mean to tell me if that warrants a Money Mayweather showdown in May on the eve of Cinco de Mayo? Get the fuck out of here, man. Get the fuck out of here. I'm not buying that bullshit, man. And the buying public should not buy that shit either. You guys should speak out in the masses about this shit. Because the Mayweather brand is a good brand. And the reason why it's a good brand is because they've been putting out a quality product. Okay? But I think the money has gotten so good. To the point where they've developed the bad habit of counting the money before it's even spent. The money, if the money hasn't been spent, you don't have it yet. So there's no possible way you can say, well, Mayweather versus Khan is going to do good numbers. No, the public has to get behind it still. Because your hands ain't in my pocket, homeboy. You don't pay no bills around here. I have never seen you in the, in the dirty down here helping out people down here. You don't pay nobody's salary down here. Nobody. So ain't there's no possible way you're gonna charge me a sixty nine ninety nine to watch you do with what Danny Garcia and Brandis Prescott did to Amir Khan because it proves nothing. What what the hell would beating Amir Khan prove, dude? Honestly, that you can knock him out, that you can kick his ass better than a shitbag fighter like Prescott, you can kick his ass better than him. Who gives a fuck, dude? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, there are other live dudes out there that want a showdown. Danny Garcia. And, and in my mind, in my mind, I know Floyd beats pretty much any of these guys. I know skill for skill, this dude is unmatched in our time. He's unmatched so much to the point where they want this dude to do something abnormal. They want this dude to go to 160 pounds and fight as a middleweight. And that's insane. Floyd is not. He's barely even a welterweight, dude. And if you are really, really in tune with boxing and have been around the sport, been around fighters, you know what a middleweight looks like. And then look at Floyd, dog. This motherfucker, he ain't no, he is not a middleweight, dude. Whatsoever. A substantially bigger man can make 160 pounds. There ain't no way in hell he can make 54. There ain't no way in blue hell he can make 147 pounds, dude. You have to basically ask this guy to go up and put his life on the line to the third power in order to satisfy you because y'all think he's not fighting nobody. That's bullshit. He's fighting people. But if he goes on and fights an Amir Khan in a pay-per-view, dude, I have lost all fucking respect for this guy, dude, and his team. Y'all are getting into the habit of counting the money before you put the product out there. Before people actually decide to spend it. You know what I'm saying? DSG just beat the hell out of Lucas Matisse. 
you got to understand that Canelo Mayweather pay per view broke the record. So that means over one million pay per view buy buyers watch Danny Garcia, who was the co-main event, the leading or the the co-main event or whatever the fuck it was. It was right before Mayweather fought. They watched him dismantle the beast that was Lucas Matisse, or at least the beast that the media made him out to be. But y'all saw what Lucas Matisse was doing to guys. He was um, he mean he was doing these guys in. He was giving them that work for real. And, and, and proud of that fight, he was the favorite to beat Danny Garcia. So I'm like, if there was anybody who wanted a showdown, it's Danny Garcia. Plus, he already knocked out Amir Khan. So what the hell would Amir Khan get the fight before him? What would, I mean, what the hell would, what would, what would that really prove in today's game, dude? That wouldn't prove shit. Amir Khan don't even have a large fan base in his own country. He don't even sell out arenas in his own country. So just because he's from the UK does not mean that you're going to do the numbers that Haddon would have done. Haddon was a big ticket seller in the UK. Haddon had thousands of, of, of UK fans travel across the pond to go to Las Vegas to watch him fight in the States. Amir Khan don't have it like that. And y'all are making a big mistake of thinking that. You know what I'm saying? And I just, I'm, I'm just, I'm just not understanding. There are other live dudes who have waited in line to get this opportunity, and I already know about the car war. I don't give a blue fuck about that. It's about paper. You know what I'm saying? Bob Arum has been humbled, and nothing proves how humble this motherfucker is now. If you, if you read the press interviews of him now, he is cash. Pack it out to the as far as he can take him, and the reason why I say that is this: in a promotional buildup for Rio's Pacquiao, Bob Arum said that he was expecting a million buys, a million buys for Pacquiao Rios because he's still banking on Pacquiao star power. Well, he has been humbled to the third power because he it's barely doing a half half a million. He doing five hundred thousand, which has to be a total promotional failure. So he knows he has to take the lower role. The lower role in, in terms of negotiating a mega fight with Mayweather. Never before have you ever been in the driver's seat in terms of promoting a Pacquiao-Mayweather fight. And if anybody brings up this boy Pacquiao's name, this motherfucker just goes ape shit. And you know the thing about it, I never used to give Floyd flack about that shit because... He wasn't just interviewed and asked questions about Pacquiao. He's been fucking heckled about the shit. He's been harassed by the shit. Even when the shit wasn't his fault, they was get, he was getting blamed for the shit. So I know where where it comes from. I know he, he's probably a little emotional about it. But I just watched a video with Chris Robinson. And Chris Robinson, pretty much besides fight hype, gets exclusive interviews with Floyd Mayweather because... Of the softball interviews they've done with him in the past. And showing them a lot of love. I understand how it goes. You know. Fuck it. You know. You're getting a lot of hits when he's when he's on your camera. And you're getting good money. I, I'm not hating that shit bro. Get it how you can. You know. Get it how you live. You know what I'm saying. I never hate on somebody getting it how they get it. You know what I'm saying. But when Chris Robinson brought up Pacquiao's name. is, is In terms of uh, mentioning the dismal. Uh, substantially low pay-per-view numbers that Pacquiao Rios did, this motherfucker Mayweather looked like he wanted to fucking start crying. I'm looking at this dude in his eyes, man, and he looked like he wants to just start fucking crying. And I'm like, dog, he didn't even ask you, are you going to fight the dude or anything? He was like, you said it was about business. Are you surprised that the Pacquiao Rios fight or some shit like that did such low numbers? And what did this motherfucker Mayweather say? Mayweather say? Because he's been accustomed to just throwing out dumbass answers to get you to not you know, ask him any more questions that are tough. I'm not here to talk negative about Pacquiao and I don't know what company from. Bitch, he didn't ask you. He didn't ask you to talk negative about Pacquiao, dog. He just asked you about your opinion on those substantially low numbers. And what did you do? You went bitch. And I can't stand that for no fighter because I've been around fighters for a long time. And fighters fight. When people say, oh, Mayweather didn't fight Pacquiao because he was scared, no, there's no such thing, dude. Fighters are not afraid, dude. They are not afraid. That's one thing you cannot attach to, to no fighter, dude. When these guys get hit in their fucking head, 
year after year, whether it's in training camp, in sparring, or in the ring, it really don't fucking matter who's throwing the punches when you're taking this type of punishment. You know what I'm saying? When you actually get hit for a living, whether you get hit a little bit or get hit a lot, it doesn't matter anymore. Everybody is a man. That's why they they say it doesn't matter. Anybody who gets in the ring, puts on the gloves, has a chance. It's the media and the fans that say, oh, this guy's better. This guy, I mean, fuck all that bullshit. It ain't about that because I know sorry ass fighters and they're willing to fight the best fighters in the world. You cannot attach the word scared. You know what I'm saying? But whatever it is, dude, they got this motherfucker in a frenzy to where you can't bring this bitch Pacquiao's name up in a conversation. It has pissed me off for the last time, dude. And if you are a Mayweather fan, dude, do not allow this motherfucker to dupe you. Because there is no way in blue hell that you should be supporting a fight that has Mayweather's name attached to the Amir Queen Khan. Because he does not warrant that type of fight. Whatsoever. There is nothing he brings to the table that makes it seem, that makes it legit that Mayweather would give this guy an opportunity to fight on pay-per-view on the Eva Cinco de Mayo. You're not even fighting a, you're not even fighting a Latino fighter. I'm not saying you got to. Because last time I checked, I think he fought Shane Mosley in May and it did well. You know what I'm saying? But the fact remains is this, dude. I don't know what it is and why this guy won't even entertain fighting Pacquiao. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, if I mean, you, you keep saying the best, you're the best ever. No, you are not. You TBN in my book until you fight Pacquiao. The best never. You know what I'm saying? And you know what? That's just that's just anger speaking. I'm not gonna take away from the fact this motherfucker is a uh, first ballot Hall of Famer. You are that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna take away the fact that you've been fighting live dudes. You have been fighting live dudes. But if you want to talk about TBE, the best ever, there is no way your name can even come up in the conversation unless you face. The best fighters of your time. And whether he likes it or not or hate the fact that the media has given Pacquiao a pass on a lot of stuff. And haven't given him a pass on a lot of stuff. Or the fact that they've, they've built this guy. You know, even though he was being beaten by guys who are lesser, of a lesser ilk than Mayweather. I mean, to be honest, Morales beat the fuck out of him and got a split decision in that first fight. But all they concentrate on is the fact that he knocked Morales out in those preceding fights. You know, the fights that they came afterwards. They didn't talk about how Morales beat him when he was when he was hot and on his way up and Morales was on his way out. You know what I'm saying? They only concentrate on the fact that he beat Morales. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to talk about the fact that he struggled in four fights with Marquez, never legitimately beat him, and then to shut up all the chatter about it, Marquez knocks him the fuck out, putting the seal on the on 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 the quadrilogy, quadrilogy, whatever the fuck, the fourth fight, if you will. You know what I'm saying? I understand where you're coming from in that in that in that manner, but the thing about it is, Pacquiao is one of the best of this time. He is. Whether he got way more accolades and awards than he should have gotten or not, it doesn't matter. He established himself by getting wins in the ring. And the media can't give you that. Only the fighters can get that. The fighters are the one that put themselves in the ring. He knows his first hand. The media can't get you a victory in the ring. Pacquiao earned that shit. Whether it was a catchway, fought guys coming off of losses, fought guys coming out off of wars, whatever it may be, he fought the guys they accepted to, to fight him, they got in the ring and they got that ass whooped. He, he won, he beat these guys. So I don't know what it is about this guy where he won't give these guys an opportunity. He won't fight Pacquiao. If you ain't going to fight Pacquiao, it has to be somebody else legitimately uh, worthy of an opportunity. It has to be somebody who's live. And if you're not going to fight DSG, ain't no way in hell you should be fighting on Amir Khan. You know what I'm saying? If you don't fight DSG, there's no way. If you're not fighting DSG or Pacquiao, there's no way you should not be fighting Timothy Bradley. Anybody else at this moment, unless you go up and wait and stay at 54 and fight somebody at that weight, there is nobody else at 147 pounds that whose name who has accomplished more than what these guys accomplished to the point where they deserve a Mayweather shot. And, you know, it ain't like matching all the welterweights because, in, in, to be honest, 
And Amir Khan versus Timothy Bradley at welterweight. That's a damn good fight. That's a damn good fight. But see, you can't put Mayweather a Mayweather fight in the same sentence with that type of fight. This is a pay-per-view of event. It's not just a fight. It's an event. Stars come out. Suits. Cameras. Interviews. You know what I'm talking about? We're talking about big-time promotion. Money. Sponsors. You know what it is. You know what I'm saying? You can't put that in the same sentence with a Mayweather fight. So if you get the Mayweather fight, which is essentially a lotto ticket... A winning lotto ticket in boxing, it has to be somebody who is deserving of it. Not just somebody who you think has fans. Because that's some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? As a supporter, as a boxing fan, you should be appalled at the notion that that fight can be possibly be on the horizon for May. That is some bullshit. And I'm not getting behind it. And you should not get behind that shit either. At this point, dude, I don't even know what the fucking think about this guy. If they make that fight, I do not support this guy. To me, he has just slapped the fuck out of the boxing fan. To me, it's only about the money. It's never been about the fan, fans. When it's the fans that spend the money. The money is just not sitting at MGM Grand. And, and when you get done fighting, there it is. No, we have to spend that money first. And he's gotten into the habit of counting that money before you spend it. And if you want to let that motherfucker do that shit to you, you know what I'm saying? Then, hey, so be it, man. Be duped. Be duped. But there is no way you should be supporting an American fight versus Mayweather. Because, in my opinion, that's like the, the equivalence of Pacquiao fighting an ESPN fighter on pay-per-view. It basically... Or a guy who, who haven't even been on ESPN. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it, the shit is just, it's just fucking, it's just crazy, dude. It should not even be mentioned. Amir Khan does not deserve that. I don't give a fuck what he says. Or how he thinks his style can get. Man, no one has seen speed before. He has seen speed before. You have no defense and you can't take a punch. And you fade. You know what I'm saying? Those We already know what's going to happen to you, dude. Even if you have a couple of good rounds because it's not out of the realm of possibility. It's a fight. Anything can happen in a fight. But the, the likelihood of Amir Khan winning a fight with Mayweather is slim and fucking none. And I just don't give a damn to see it. Let alone want to pay for the shit. I don't even know if I want to even stream that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And I never went live on Mayweather like this before. But I had to speak out about this shit. And if you agree with it, fine, that's cool. And if you don't agree with it, that's cool too. You know, I never ask anybody to listen to my shit, to my videos, anything like that. You listen if you want to. It's all up to you. I'm not trying to come at nobody in particular. I haven't said nobody's names. No supporters and no haters. No pactars, no flomos. I don't get in that bullshit. This is my own opinion from a guy who has supported this guy for years. And I support all fighters. I've said that plenty of times. I'm very impartial. You never heard me get on a video and say, Oh, I want Mayweather to win this fight with Marquez. Oh, I'm pulling for Mayweather to fight. I don't give a fuck who wins in a fight. Just fight and make it a good one. You know what I'm saying? You know, I support all these guys. Black, white, Mexican, it don't matter. Because I respect what they do. But on this level... On this day, I can't get behind this shit, and you shouldn't either, man. You should feel, you should feel that they're slapping you in the face, trying to shove this shit down your down your throat. It should not be made. Shaboy Ash, I'm not even about to go live for another minute about this shit. I'm gonna see if I can do some more before the day over. We'll talk about some other live shit, man. Y'all get back at me, Deuce.